Mrs. G Sewing Space. Real quick, I'm popping up a quick video. I am making ornaments for a church get white elephant gift exchange. And so I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing real quick. Now I have an embroidery machine. So I was able to embroider out this super cute little reindeer. Let me zoom in on him real quick so you can see him. Whoop, there he is right there. Um, all I did was embroider him out on flannel. I had some red flannel and then the tan and the brown for his face. And then I just had a piece of green, just plain green fabric and then the thread to go with it. So I embroidered him out. He's a four by four embroidery. And what I'm planning to do is I'm going to put him together just like this. So I have another piece of flannel, which I will add on top like so. I'm going to flip it over because I'm going to sew the edges together. And as you see here, I have already marked my where I'm going to sew at. And I need to add a ribbon to it. So I'm going to fold this ribbon over like that. And I'm going to place it right here on the inside. So I'm, I'm going to put my finger here because this is where I want it placed. Fold it up. Now the folded part of the ribbon is going to be tucked to the inside. So this part the part where the two edges are going to be poking out. And I'm going to place it right here, which means I'm going to slide it right there. Right there. And then I'm going to put a pin right here, right in the ribbon and the flannel. And I'm going to put two more pins right here. just like that and I'm going to sew, I'm going to leave a gap right here and I'm going to sew all the way around, back stitch across that ribbon, sew all the way around and then I'm going to flip it inside out. I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I sewed around starting at the bottom. I left a gap here at the bottom and I sewed all the way around taking my time around the curves and if I was having a hard time moving the fabric around the curve, I'll show you in, the, in, a, in a clip that I left my needle in the fabric, so I left my needle in, lifted the presser foot, shifted my fabric using that needle as a pivot and then put the presser foot back down and continued sewing until I needed to make the turn again. And so that's how I got smoother edges. Uh, not right there, but um, on, on this one I did. I got smoother edges, more curvy parts around here. So next, what I'm going to do is right now, I'm going to trim around the edges right here. I'm going to leave an opening here. I'm going to trim here, but not that much because the extra is going to be tucked in. And then we're going to flip them inside out and stuff them. go so I trimmed around them and I put some stitch um, snipped to the thread line and now we're gonna flip them inside out real quick so there you go there you go so the ribbon is attached securely because I backstitch across it so now I'm gonna stuff it and then I'm gonna hand stitch the bottom closed. Okay, now that I got it stuffed the way I want it stuffed, I'm going to tuck in these ends. Tuck them in best as I can. Okay. 
So you tuck it in like this and then you close up the gap. Now the problem with this part is if it's curved you're going to have a harder time matching it up so it looks nice. So I would recommend if you do something like that just leave it flat across but I've already done the work so now I've got to make it work. So there you go. It's not perfect but that's okay. So I'm going to do some hand stitching here across the bottom. I'm going to try to fix that corner and then it will be all done. So when I have it all stitched up I will be right back. Okay, so I have my reindeer ornaments stuffed, and this one I have pinned up so that my opening is closed with the pins. And I did something different with this one. So what I did on this one is that I shaped my bottom so that it's in a curve. I did it for the front and back, shaped it in a curve and then just did some quick stitches to hold it in place so when I close it and I stitch it it'll keep that shaped it's kinda hard to see because I can't really do it like I want to but then I can stitch it and it'll keep that curved shape at the bottom so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go ahead and stitch and I'm gonna do the same type of stitch that I did with the sock monkey video so it's called a ladder stitch, and I'm going to do it like this. So I'm going to go here on the inside, pull my thread through. I have a knot at the end of it. Let's move him out of the way so I can focus. And I have the needle and thread coming up on the fold right here at the end and then I'm going to go across and in the fold it's easier when you can put it together like this in the fold I'm going to take a small stitch in the fold out to the other side and then go across to the other side take a small stitch in the fold I know my lighting isn't the best here Okay. so I have my thread here on this side I'm going to go across to the other side put my needle in the fold then take a stitch like that pull it through and then come across to the opposite side and you just do it back and forth just like a ladder like that pull and go back to the other side and you do that all the way to the end then that way you can tighten it up and have everything stitched up at the bottom but my lighting is not what I want it to be because I don't have any sunlight today, today's cloudy but hopefully you can see what I'm trying to get at so I'm going to go ahead and finish all this up and then we'll be done so here we go. Here are two little ornaments that I made for multiple people. Um, in doing these ornaments, a couple of ideas came to mind. If you wanted to, you could totally hand stitch your own, uh, hand embroider your own little picture and do the exact same way to put it together. And on the back, you could also stitch your name or the date or who you're giving it to or any other little message here on the back. I didn't do that because I didn't think about it. And, but there you go. So now you have your ribbon and you have your ornament here. It's all closed up on the bottom. It's, it's using the ladder stitch gives it a clean... My hair. Using the ladder stitch gives it a clean... Um, a clean look here so that... It doesn't look bumpy or it doesn't look too bumpy. It doesn't look too made in China. Anyways, so there we go. So I have two of them. Now I can give them away and not feel bad because they're pretty cute. I think they're pretty cute. So if you have any questions, throw them down in the comment section below. And everything that I use, I have links to in the description box below. I would really appreciate it if you guys supported me by clicking on those links below. And if you have any type of stocking stuffers that you want to purchase for people that you know, to go through those links. I get a small commission and that certainly helps keep my channel alive by helping me out. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and I'll see you in the next video.
Boom, 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 boom,